Hello, my name is Gary Jennings. Welcome to Addiction Free Ministries. I'm Sister Candy's co-host, and uh, we just want to love on Hickory Grove Baptist Church a little bit today. Uh, it's a great church in Bismarck, Arkansas. Brother Blair Bates, personal friend of mine for a very long time, uh, just gave me a key to the church and told me, he says, use the church when you need the church. And we have the Father's House and actually don't have a building big enough to uh, do our Christmas dinners and Thanksgiving dinners. And so he was just kind enough. He said, hey, it's your church. Just take the key, and when you need it, use it. Uh, so I love his generosity. But more than that, I love this young man for his uh, his love for the Lord and the love for he has for God's people. I remember visiting uh, Brother Blair in the hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas. He was actually in a coma. Uh, on life support and given very little hope uh, at the time that he might pull through his uh, situation down there had some health issues but his wife never let go she said no we're not listening to that so we'd go back in the room and him uh, he was on life support just rebuke death and pray over him and God just performed a miracle and brought him out of that and he's here today I've got to share uh, this morning as he shared the gospel in his church and we joined him for the Christmas service awesome service but anyway we love him we appreciate him and I he's gonna uh, give you a little bit of word about where God brought him from and where God's brought him to brother Blair Bates well thank you pastor pastor Gary and like pastor Gary said I uh, just glad to be a part of the family of God I grew up uh, knowing about Jesus and uh, you know went the wrong direction my grandpa was a preacher my his his daddy was a preacher uh, grew up in the stuff but never understood that I needed a relationship with Jesus uh, got caught up doing drugs after my mom and dad split at a very young age um, I went the opposite direction started using drugs anything I could get a hold of um, about oh 19 I started manufacturing methamphetamines and and uh, you'll never go to the a bookstore and say what a marvelous life meth will give you or cocaine or alcohol. That is a lie from the devil. And But I bought into that and started cooking dope and using dope for many years and wound up going to ADC and spent a little over a year in prison, got out, went right back to, to using dope. And, uh, little did I know that I would meet my wife in between the, my prison stays and and uh, she was going to a little country church out here in Bismarck, Arkansas, called Hickory Grove, and I wouldn't go with her. And uh, um, I would actually come up to the parking lot. It's a it's a interesting story because I would come up to the parking lot when nobody was here, and I'd get high. I'd shoot dope, and, and little did I know that that God was was preparing me to to minister and help people. Uh, through his grace that he gave me and the the very church that I'm standing in today that I was shooting dope in the parking lot I, I I'm I'm proud to say because of the goodness of the Lord that I'm now the pastor and uh and, and God is amazing and and I'm just Jesus Christ is is everything to me and it's Christmas today and uh, I was baptized on Christmas day 11 years ago today and my wife her story's awesome and I wish she could be here but it's Christmas time, and she's cooking. And but uh, I'm just proud to be here, brother Gary's. He's I, I, every pastor's got to have a pastor. Mine's his. My pastor's brother Gary, and his pastor's brother Van. And and so I consider them two my spiritual mentors, and and uh, they have just helped me tremendously. And I'm just I'm just grateful to be alive. If God never did anything else for this old boy, I'd yeah, I'd still praise him because he's done just so much for me. We serve a good good God and uh, and I and I do and like brother Gary said well after I've been saved and preaching the gospel on on Jan on February the 2nd of 2014 I got hit with double pneumonia and was uh, on life support and then in a coma and and wound up being in the hospital for 92 days but every time they would come and speak life over me they would they would speak life I could hear them and I know as they spoke life God began to heal me and work a miracle in me and and, uh, and now everywhere I go, I get to tell folks the reason I talk so rough is because of what I've been through, and I don't want that to change because it enables me to just to let them know that I, I'm not walking around with a, a cold or anything. I'm walking around with, with what Jacob would call his limp. 
I had an encounter with the, the enemy and the God, and, and, and God brought me out of it and now my voice lets people leads people to the Lord and and uh and I'm I'm proud to say that I'm just glad to be alive and and uh so we serve a mighty God. Yeah. I, 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 pre, I appreciate our sister here and her her uh, television ministry, and I just I just want to be a help and a blessing for all those. And I love you, love love the Lord, and and God bless you. Actually, the Father's House is a residential home for men and women. We have a residential home for men. We have a residential home for women, and today. Uh, you're going to be seeing some of the the uh, fruit of the ministry. We love, this is sort of like payday to us because we get to see uh, families getting put back together and spending time together, just having a wonderful time. So Miss Candy is going to put some things together today so you can sort of see uh, what's really going on with the Father's House and the fruit of the ministry. And uh, we have, we have a, about 18 full-time staff that's all they do and of course I've I'm a little prejudiced probably but I feel like I have the best staff in the whole world they're great people and most of them uh, I think all of them actually have gone through our program so they're all graduates and uh, our directors all the way down are people that had life controlling problems some alcohol some drugs but because of God's goodness and his grace and his mercies, which are new every day, they, uh, they've come to know him and come to get delivered and come to have victory in their life. And uh, my program director, I want him to hopefully today he'll get to say something, but he just gave me a word yesterday. He had, uh, through his addiction, he had got a divorce, and he, he and his uh, wife, were. it was just about over for them, but God began to uh, put his life together, and even after he got to become a program director, and he's been in the ministry for a while, uh, I got the news yesterday, they're fixing to get remarried, and I said, praise the Lord, what an awesome thing, just another, uh, just another proof that God's on the throne, and he's doing great and powerful things in the hearts of, and lives of his sons and daughters. Uh, God bless you today, Merry Christmas, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful Happy New Year with a lot of souls being added to the kingdom through your life. Amen. Well, friends, like Pastor Gary said, we are here at Hickory Grove Baptist Church in Bismarck, Arkansas. And Pastor Blair just uh, gave you his testimony, how he said he used to do drugs out in the parking lot uh, this church years ago, and now God, is, God has him as the pastor of it. Isn't that something? God, God loves taking lives and restoring and give him glory. Anyway, this is the Christmas party. Right after church, we come in here and everybody's eating. And these are the Father's House, uh, men and women, and uh, their families, and some of our church people at the Ark of Praise. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna get a few testimonies here uh, of some of the people, some of the students and graduates. So God bless you, and uh, I know you're gonna enjoy what God has done. Hi, my name is Robert Scott. I'm the program director of the Father's House Ministry in Donaldson. Uh, just a, a little bit of my testimony about how uh, my, Nancy and I became the point where we we're actually uh, going to renew our vows and get remarried again. Uh, we were married in 1982, and, and we had been married for 28 years. Uh, alcohol had, had, my addiction to alcohol had been wearing on our marriage somewhat for you know for quite a while and in 2010 when alcohol finally made me lose my job my relationship my wife fell apart uh and we actually we became divorced in 2010 at the very week that i became, went to the father's house to get treatment uh if anybody needs proof that that god is in the restoration business it, it would be me uh because i have uh, you know, he's, he's worked miracles in my life, uh, and throughout this whole process, he's put our relationship back together, and and like I said, we're, I'm very happy to announce that we will be remarried in a very, very short period of time. Hi, I'm Reggie Jones. I'm with the Father's House Ministry in Donaldson, Arkansas, and once a month at our church, the Ark of Praise in Hot Springs, we do loaves and fishes, 
it's an outreach ministry to touch people in the community. And we're feeding the people of the community every second Saturday of the month. Last June, we had a guy show up there needing a meal, kind of lost some hope, and he ended up coming home with us to the Father's house. His name's Marcus McDaniel, and he is a work in progress. If you want to know what God does in your life, you can look at Marcus and his family and see what's going on. And I'm going to let you talk to Marcus right now. Well, I uh, I came to the Father's house. I came to the Father's house through uh, through loaves and fishes. Um, and while I was at the Father's house, um, I learned uh, uh, to develop my relationship with God um, by reading my Bible, um, by praying, um, and just giving my life to the Lord, um, allowing Him to lead me. Um, for a while, I thought uh, my my marriage was over uh, because of the. The, the terrible things I had done um, in my marriage uh, and in my relationship, the, the damage that I had caused, I thought that um, my marriage would be over. Um, but because of uh, my praying and, and, and fasting and uh, just um, really uh, depending on Lord to restore my marriage, um, he has um, full fold. Um, me and my wife are now uh, going to counseling and uh, trying to uh, learn how to communicate better. Um, and it's all due to... Uh, 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 all due to the Lord, all due to him uh, giving us um, the courage and the strength to uh, follow his guidance and directions in our life. Um, we're, uh, we're now um, trying, just, trying to just pursue the Lord, trying to pursue uh, God as, as best we can. It has been a journey. Um, like he said, um, it has been a lot of damage and everything uh, with our marriage, but... Um, with God on our side, God leading our marriage, um, it has grown stronger than it's ever been before. So I'm just thankful for the Father's House, the ministry at the Father's House, loaves of fishes, everything for just bringing my husband back home. Well, friends, I am pleased to bring you two more people that's going to brag on Jesus. Uh, as you may know, I'm Candy Rose. And Pastor Gary Jennings started the show out, and we're here at the Christmas party at Hickory Grove Baptist Church. And, uh, and we're having a great time, aren't we, guys? Yes, ma'am. And they're going to tell you what the Father's house uh, means to them, and most of all, what Jesus means to them. Well, uh, I would like to start by saying I thank you guys. I thank the Father's house uh, for giving me a place to go. Uh, I spent most of my life in prison and, and in the military. I was uh, delivered from PTSD and a drug addiction. And, you know, Jesus is really coming to my life and it's changing my life. I plan on staying, going through ministry school, through Brother Gary. And, you know, I just want to thank these people. These people saved my life. It was a life or death situation for me. And I just thank these people as well as God. Hey, I'm Jason Chapman. Uh I've been to the program before and I graduated, but I, uh, when I got out, I kind of had a, I kind of had to relapse and then come back again. It, it was about two years, and uh, I was back. But he, he's delivered me from uh, drug addiction and uh, just mental health issues and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it this time. So. Well, thank you guys, and I know that you are here for a reason. God has brought you to the Father's house, not only to rescue you, but you've been called to be rescuers. I've always called you Moses. <laughs> and also because, you see, when God delivers us and sets us free, we need to tell others he's the answer, don't we? All right. Well, God bless you. Hi, my name is Amber Tomlinson, and I'm the Father's House Ladies Director. I'm also a graduate from the Father's House in, back in 2012, and I have one of my students here, and her name is Ashley Brown, and I'm going to let her tell her testimony of what God's done for her. Hi, everybody. My name is Ashley. I have uh, got saved whenever I was a senior in high school, but it didn't take me long to um, fall away from God and get lost in the drug world. I had a home there, actually, at the head table, and... My whole life I'd been told that I wasn't going to be able to have kids. You're going to have to adopt. And and it was just an empty place in my life that I never entertained the fact of having kids. Well, 37 years old, I was pregnant. And it took a lot of uh, courage to give everything back to God. And it only came with being back at rock bottom and I had put everything in front of God, and I knew that I couldn't uh, do that anymore if I wanted to raise my son right. I don't want him 
to have anything to do with the world that made me miserable. I don't want the, that kind of people in his life. And the peace that comes with being back in God's favor and in God's will is unmatched. And uh, I only want my son and myself to be surrounded with God's love from now on. Oh, I've been set free from methamphetamines and alcohol. And uh, not only it's not just to be in secluded from them, it's the geographical change and all that's great, but it's the peace. The, it's a supernatural release from the want of it. It's a breaking of the chains, and I'll never be the same. Friends, you've heard some wonderful testimonies. Once again, I just love being able to host this television program. Oh, it is it's a joy of my life. You see, because not only do I know that Jesus can set people free, I love hearing other people's testimonies. And I'm sure that as you've listened, if, if you're in your addiction right now, I know that God is speaking to your heart because you're able to relate. And God wants you to give your life to him. You know, this is, right now, this is Christmas Day that we're filming this. And by the time you see it, it's going to be February or even maybe a little later. But, you know, start your new year out now. Don't, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Don't wait. Don't put it off. You know, there's so many consequences that happen to us when we're out there in our mess. But you know what? God wants to give you a good life. Oh, yeah, you're still going to have problems as you go through life. But you see, the thing is, is that God will help you through that. He will help see you through it all and turn it all around and use it as a testimony for his glory. So if you would like to have that new life right now and have that peace and joy that comes from knowing everything's okay between you and the Father, just say this prayer after me and mean it with your whole heart. The Bible talks about repent. Repent means change of mind, change of heart, be willing to turn. All you have to do is be willing to leave the old life behind and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and the Bible says you shall be saved. So say that right now with me. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And if you mean it, you will have that new life because the Holy Spirit will come in and give you the power to live it. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. I want to live for you with my whole heart. I'm willing to turn my back on the old lifestyle and live for you. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for loving me. I love you too, Jesus. Amen. Now, folks, if you said that and you meant it, go to church, read your Bible, and talk to your Heavenly Father. And if you need help, always at the end of my shows, I have... Teen Challenge, the Father's House, and Richie and Carly's homes for you to be able to contact if you need help. And if and there's others on my website, addictionfreeministry.com. I have a whole page that is dedicated with links and information for you to go even to other states if you want to to find help for your addiction. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Candy Rose, CEO of Addiction Free Ministry. Every day, countless lives are being destroyed by addiction. Precious people end up in jail, a hospital, divorce, and the grave. Not only do individuals suffer from the effects of addiction, but so do the children and parents. It's a ripple effect. 
Do you or a loved one want help? Go to our website to find referrals and resources. You will find help and hope. Addiction Free Ministry presents powerful resources written by its CEO, Candy Rose. Her autobiography, Spirits of Seduction, proves Christ can transform any lifestyle from X-rated to G-rated. Candy Rose believes testimonies build faith, encouraging others they too can have that new life in Christ. Go to Amazon.com or their website, AddictionFreeMinistry.com, to receive these life-changing resources for yourself or a loved one. There is help. There is hope. Hi, my name is Barbara Ferguson, and I have been blessed with being asked to be on Candy's board for her ministry, that addiction-free ministry. And throughout that time, I've had the opportunity to see what an amazing, awesome ministry it is. And I asked her for the opportunity to talk to you about becoming a partner of the ministry, because I've noticed that Candy is not one to ask for partners or to talk about the need. Every person knows someone probably very close to them that has an addiction, addiction of some kind. There's so many different forms of addiction. And we need partners. We need people that will agree to partner with us and and give so much a month. It can be as little as $10 a month, up to as much as you want, or it can be a one-time gift. Anything you can do would really help the ministry. Just to ask you, please, if you would prayerfully consider that, because I know the Lord would, will bless you like he's blessed me. I gave the world the best of my days Let people down in so many ways Reckless emotions led me astray Till I couldn't see Lost all direction, no hope in sight Weary of living I gave up on life, searching for answers. I wondered why would God even help me? He reached out his tender hand of mercy. He picked me up, though I was so unworthy it's amazing he looked me on my failures and saw what I could be it's hard to believe that he could love what was left of me broken and battered yet he came my way Seeking the lost, those who had strayed He held me close to his heart that day I found peace Considered me worth the price that he paid On that rugged cross where he took my place I'm now forgiven Redeemed by His grace, He loved me. Then He reached down His tender hand of mercy. He picked me up, though I was so unworthy. It's amazing. He looked me on my failures And saw what I could be It's hard to believe That he could love what was left of me It's hard to believe That he could love what was left of me
Hi, my name is Robert Scott. I'm the program director of the Father's House Ministry. We are a Christian discipleship program for men and women located in Donaldson, Arkansas. What we are is a recovery ministry, we, and if we use the commands outlined for, that God outlined for you in the Bible on how to live your life and use that to help people assist and, and provide a drug, alcohol, and nicotine-free environment where people can learn and practice self-discipline. Like it doesn't cost anything to come to our ministry, and we would love for you to get some information from us. Thank you. I just encourage, if you're struggling with any kind of addiction or you know someone uh, in, a, in your family or someone, just maybe one layer of, of connection of a person removed from you, please proactively take the initiative to reach out to them and say, hey, I saw this program where, you know what? There's actually help. There's actually hope. We'll be happy to talk to you, happy to bring you in or talk to you about that loved one that needs to come in. I'm Richie Willis, and this is my wife, Carly Willis. Uh, we both run homes in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We both come out of addictions and out of a long life of bondage of of drugs and alcohol, and uh, we've been set free by the blood of Jesus, and uh, God has radically taken over our lives, and now we both have ministries. She has a, a house for women, and I have a house for two houses for men, um, and they're faith-based houses, and uh, we minister to these men and women. Hers is called Carly's Home, and mine is called Solomon's Porch, and I have nine men. She has five women, and we minister to them and love on them, and we're, they're all held accountable, and we're just building the kingdom of God with one person at a time, and we're just excited about these ministries and what God is doing, and uh, we just want to uh, thank God that he's using us and wants to use you too in your ministry, and we just thank God for it. Satan had already picked out my grave. His plan had moved forward to put me away. I drifted so far, would anyone care that I'd soon be lost? I knew my destruction was a matter of time, but Jesus appeared and said, this one is mine, now I'm safe from all harm. 